Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and show you how to put together this treadmill. This is the Proform Cadence Compact 500, model number PFTL39621. So the box is extremely heavy, so be careful. We got this at Walmart. We had to have somebody help us get it out at Walmart. So I'll be unboxing it. It comes out as an assembly like this, and then we're going to unbox this, and I'll show you how, exactly how to put it together. Okay, so we've got everything unboxed. Here's the, the hardware that comes with it. Here's all the different pieces. And now we're gonna start on step one. Okay, so step one is we're gonna lift these arms. So I've got all the zip ties cut and these arms should lift. And then they're gonna stop and we're gonna put the hardware in. Okay, so step one is just to kind of look at what tools you're gonna need. So we're gonna, they are labeled step two are these screws right here. And so you start with step two is when you actually start assembling it. Okay, so the assembly tools are right up here. It's these Allen screws. So we're gonna take the smaller one, the bigger one goes here, and the smaller one goes here. So it takes this Allen wrench right here. Okay, so the two arms are installed. The wires are right here, so just be careful with the wires. You still got the wires up here. Okay, step three, you've got a left and a right. So these are labeled left. Now these were together and they just pull apart. And on the inside they're labeled left and you've got right. Okay, so the right one, you gotta feed the cable through it first and then it'll slide on. Okay, so we're gonna put these like cup holders on next. The left one, as it's sitting right here, this is the left one, this is the right one. Step four takes these like wood screws. Okay, so with those screws in, they were kind of long-winded. You gotta use a number two Phillips or like wood screws that go into plastic. Okay, so next we're gonna do step five. We're gonna be mounting this to the treadmill. Okay, you're gonna need the two star washers and the four bolts and the two star washers. You're gonna put one washer on each one, on just two of the bolts that hold that on. Okay, so I've got the star washer on just two. They only give you two star washers. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Again, just a star washer on the, on the bolt that's towards you. And then this one does not have a star washer. Okay, so tightening that, those down was kind of hard and a little tricky, but you can do it. There's what they look like when they're tight. Make sure they're nice and tight. You ready? Okay, so now it's time to put the connector together. Now make sure you get it right. It can only go one way. The pin that holds it together, it's gonna go towards this. And it just slides together and you should hear a little click. Like a little click and then give it a little tug and it should stay together. Okay, so now you're gonna slide this up from the bottom and then you're gonna find the right one. This is the right, the green one. It slips on here. Now this wire was a little tricky on what to deal with. The instructions are not very clear, but it will fit in this area between the two screws. Then I'm not sure if you're supposed to tuck this in here but be careful with the connector. Don't damage it or don't give it too much of a, a twist. So we'll play with that later. But right now you can put the screws in here and here. Okay, so the screws are pretty simple except for this end one. It goes at an angle. I was trying to put it in straight like the rest and it was not going, but if you put it in at an angle. Okay, so the right one is a little tricky. You've got these two halves. Make sure they both say right. This, you've got this wire. Now the wire is not gonna go into these two halves. You, you gotta snake this inner half past the wire. The wire is still gonna stick out. So it was a little bit, it was a little tricky that way. And you only get two little screws, one's for the right side and one's for the left side. And you're just gonna put the screw right in there. But first these halves are gonna, they, you have to snap these together. That's what holds them together. And then you're gonna put the screw through here. So that's what it'll look like when you're done. Originally, I thought it was going to go up here and hide the wires, but no, the wires stay all exposed. Okay, so the last piece is very simple to get in. It's got two screws, 
it goes like this. That's what's gonna hold the treadmill when you wanna store it up. Okay, so you gotta unwind this tether from this, and it's, you gotta get this little end right here loose. Okay, so make sure you put your tether in. The machine will not work unless this tether is in. This is what stops the machine if you fall off of it. Looks like it'll go either way. It's a little stiff, but it'll go either way. Okay, so there's this big sticker on here, which I'm, I'm not real happy about. It says, before first use, your, your smart treadmill is currently locked. It will not start until you go to this website and use this code. So I'm, I'm not too happy about that. I should be able, once it's together, start my treadmill, but we'll have to figure that out. Okay, so there's a switch right here, on. So when it's towards the reset, it's on, and that way's off. So it's got a pretty long plug. Okay, so we, uh, we decided to try this without going to this website because this website wanted a, a credit card and they wanted you to pay. We're not gonna do that. We're thinking this treadmill's gonna work. We, we plugged it in and tried it. It's working so far. Okay, so it looks like it's, we've got it on now. It's got a start button here. And it, it's working. You don't have to activate it. I'm not sure, because this thing's not connected to Wi-Fi, so it would have to like be connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, so here's what it looks like assembled. It's very nice. The display looks very nice. You can, the buttons, you've got start, stop down here. Again, make sure you've got this, this in. It's got incline. It's got start and stop. It's got speed buttons are right here. Looks like it's got some built-in speakers here. There is an aux in, so you could put your smartphone and have those music come out of these speakers. It's got big drink holders right here. Okay, we're gonna show this. You can simply lift the treadmill up, move this out of the way, then let it go and the treadmill will rest on that. Then we're gonna show it's got wheels down here. So now you can just tilt it back onto these wheels and you can, you can move it relatively easy wherever you would like. And stay like that. And keep it out of the way. Okay, so here's what the video looks like together. I'm gonna do a separate video, like a detailed review on how it works. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.